Right, you guys got another video here for you. Don't update to Windows 11 24 H2 just yet. If you're seeing this message here on the screen, Windows 11 version 24 H2 is available for you. Download and install. I would advise you to wait because it's just not fully finished yet. A lot of people are having a lot of issues with this and I'll go through them in this video so you can see what sort of issues that the 24 H2 is having. Now, a lot of people have messaged me and said they have not even seen a message for the download for 24H2. And the reason why is because Microsoft is rolling this out in phases and they are now releasing it to more people. If you check their website here for 24H2 known issues and notifications, you can see the current status here. It basically says that uh, the latest version of Windows is being rolled out in phases and it has now entered a new stage of availability. Version 24H2 is being offered to a wider range of eligible devices running Windows 11, versions 22H2 and 23H2. To check if the update is available for your device, simply select Settings and Windows Updates, and then you can check for updates. Just like I showed you in this video, there was a section that says Download and Install 24H2. I would personally wait because there is a lot of issues with this and I'll go through them in this video so you can understand why you shouldn't be downloading and installing 24H2 just yet. So the known issues for this are growing uh, daily and the problem is some of these are pretty bad issues, especially if you're a gamer. And you can see here, see open issues, uh, content updated in the last 30 days and the information is visible on safeguard holds. You can click on this and it will take you to an area in Windows updates and you'll be able to see whether there's a hold on your system because of a certain issue. And if you check here, the safeguard, you can see the safeguard holds affecting your device. This page shows known issues impacting your device and temporarily preventing it from updating to Windows 11 because one or more of the safeguard holds. And you can read information about all of this also, some of the issues that you might be uh, receiving when you're installing Windows 11 24H2 or you're updating to 24H2 may impact your system. So they will try to hold off from sending you this update and you might not see that message or even receive the update until a lot of these issues have been resolved. You can see some of these have been confirmed as known issues like selective games might stop responding on Windows 11 24H2 issues might occur when starting, loading or during active gameplay and in rare cases may uh, receive a black screen. USB devices that support ESCL scan protocols may also uh, not be discoverable and this is another big major problem that issue has been confirmed and there's other issues here which may affect other people and if this is the case then you don't want to be updating to this latest version. Some ASUS uh, devices might fail to install the Windows 11 version 24H2. Affected devices encounter a blue screen with an error code message during the update process. You can also see there's quite a few other ones here as well. Some of them have been resolved, but there are plenty that are still uh, floating around. And some of these devices using easy anti-cheat may stop responding and receive a blue screen. So older driver versions of easy anti-cheat applications are incompatible and these simply just don't work on Windows 11 version 24H2. So quite a few different issues that you might receive and there might be other ones as well that haven't been reported and confirmed yet. So bear that in mind, you do have support for 23H2 for quite some time yet so you don't have to rush into installing this and you can see microsoft have been working with easy anti-cheat on an incompatibility issue with windows 11 version 24h2 so if you're playing games like valorant or games like fortnite this all uses easy anti-cheat and this can cause you major problems so if you are one of those people then you definitely don't want to be installing this update or even force updating this by using uh, the Windows Assi Update Assistant or using the media creation tool to install Windows 11 24H2. This is a real big problem. There's a couple of ASUS devices that have been confirmed that are having issue with this update, and that is the X4150KA 
and the X51 5KA models. These are having issues and they may encounter an issue when the system is unable to complete the update and it may roll back or you may have an issue. So it's no good forcing this update or even attempting this update if it appears on your screen. So if you're running any sort of ASUS system, I'd be very, very careful and I would not force this update at all until you're 100% sure that it's working properly. Selective games may stop responding on Windows 11 version 24H2. This is another big problem and you can see it confirms it right here that they're having issue with Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla, also Assassin's Creed Origins and Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey. And there may be other games as well. And Microsoft have put a message here, important, we recommend that you do not attempt to manually update version 24H2 using Windows 11 installation assistant or the media creation tool until this issue has been resolved. So I would not be updating to that version at all until all of these issues have been resolved. And there may be other issues as well. You can report a problem with Windows updates to the Feedback Hub, and this also helps Microsoft to try and resolve this issue. Now, of course, you're going to get some people that have already rolled out the Windows 11 update for 24H2 and now not having any issues whatsoever, and that's good news for them. But remember, Microsoft are monitoring this issue, and they are not rolling this update out to people uh, that have got known issues on their system. So I would just basically block it for now and the way i did it was in the group policy editor i'll quickly show you here inside the group policy editor to go to computer configuration administrative templates windows components here and what i did here is i come down uh, to where it says windows updates here because i wanted to manage updates offered by windows updates i wanted to put a block on it so i went into here and basically made a change and I've made a video showing you how to do this. If you're one of these people that just want to stay on 24H2, because obviously recall and all that other nonsense is also embedded on 24H2 as well. And you still have a bit of time here with Windows 11 23H2. So you can see Windows 11 has to be in this box here and 23H2 has to be in this box. You can apply an OK this and you will stay on 23H2 until you change this and then it will roll out an update to 24H2. There is tons of issues with 24H2 and I would just not bother updating to it just yet, at least for a few months. Now, if you're on a Windows 11 home uh, PC, you may not have the option to use Group Policy Editor. In that case, you would need to use the Registry Editor and I'll quickly show you here just in case you want to stay on 23H2 instead of rolling out to 24H2 and having a major headache. So inside here, you need to go to HKey Local Machine, Software, Policies, Microsoft, and then come down to Windows here. And then what you're doing here from Windows is looking for Windows Update. So let's go to Windows Update here. And if you look on the right-hand pane here, these keys are already embedded here because of the group policy. But you need to create a string value for product version, just as you see here. So just right-click on the right hand pane and create a new string value, call it product version and put Windows 11 in there. So right click and just create this string value and that will be the product version. Next, you'll need to create a DWORD 32-bit value key and call that target release version exactly how you see it here and then basically give that a value of one, like so. And you need to then create one more key and that's gonna be another string value that you need to create and call that target release version information. And basically you'll need to give that some values as well in there. Let me just quickly show you here. So once you've created that key, you want to put 23H2 in here, restart your PC and you'll be staying on 23H2. And that's basically how you can stay on 23H2 for some time. In fact, if you're running Windows 11 Pro, the end of life for that is November 11th, 2025 so you don't have to rush and if you do these registry tweaks or group policy edits you will see something looking like this where it's not going to be forced on you and you can wait a few months i would not even contemplate updating to 24h2 for at least four months and maybe six until it's fully fixed 
Anyway, with that said, I think that is going to be about it. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you've had any issues with 24H2. Be happy to read your comments. I personally can't install the update yet because I'm having major issues with uh, Easy Anti-Cheat and some other things that I've got with my PC that is not compliant with uh, version 24H2. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.